What's going on, guys? It's your boy, TMI. I am the Mass Investor. Thank you guys very much for tuning in right now. No matter what time it is, no matter where you guys are, I do appreciate you guys for being here. Welcome back to the channel. Quick update. This weekend was my birthday weekend. I didn't tell, I didn't say anything to anybody. I didn't do anything crazy because I don't like to do much for my birthday. I like to keep things low key. But I would say it was a great weekend, first things first. And I do want something for my birthday. For my birthday, what I would like for you guys to do is call your freaking family. Call your family. Call your parents. Call your kids, call your cousins, call whoever the heck you don't speak to, call them up, do me a favor and call your family, check in on them because right now we are going to be going through some times in the economy where things are going to get a little rough, things are going to get a little tough, people are going to check on your strong friends, people aren't going to say anything, they might need a little something, right? So do that for me and have yourself a great uh, week so far. All right, so let's get into this today, guys. I'm going to jump right straight to it. For those of you guys who watched the play that I had the video that I had yesterday, I said I have a play for you guys, and it is a very good play. I broke down a few different examples of other setups with different stocks, DraftKings, USPT, uh, CrowdStrike that looked exactly like this play, this setup with Shopify today, and Shopify ran up to a freaking T today. If we can see a significant push towards the upside here, we can be looking to go and retest back up towards 65 bucks for Shop. That would be the same thing with BABA as well. BABA pulling back down to retest previous day highs after a pullback from earnings. I would want to see if this can maintain just a little bit here. This one's not as much of a solid play. There actually could be some sort of continuation to the downside here, but mainly shop. In a very bullish case scenario, this is the result that I'd be looking for. DraftKings had the exact same thing. DraftKings came back down after having a rip after earnings. Pull back down to the previous level of resistance and then had a booming pop up day here. You guys can see here on Thursday to Friday, this thing ran up 7.5% within two days. That was a significant win for the bulls there. UPST had a very similar setup there after earnings popped up. Pull back down to previous levels of resistance, as you guys can see here. If you got calls with Shopify today at open, they were up at one point in time over 330% today, opening roughly at $59.99 and ripping up towards 64 bucks because of this, the type of contracts that, that Shopify works with. They're not really built to see this much volatility. And when this thing ripped today over that 61.98 level, all the way up to over 64 bucks, those contracts paid significantly, all right? So a quick reminder, guys, and you guys want to learn how to get into these trades and find these setups and execute them more efficiently, take a look at the link in the description below because we do have our guy, Jake, who's also trading with the $350 accounts of 5000 the $200 account, he moved up to 2000 He started with the $430 account today, fresh week, fresh account, it is currently up to $604. All plays listed in the Discord. We are having a great time, guys, and it is free to try to join in with us, all right? So feel free to check that out. But let's talk about this market today. So SPY, we did have SPY, and right now it's currently 324 right now, and it's pulling back right now. We did have SPY basically trading in the same $1 range for the vast majority of the day today. I'm going to pull this up on the daily, okay? Just so you guys can see this. SPY is still trading in an inside candle, meaning it's roughly trading in the same exact price range we saw from the day prior. What we're looking at is potentially another significantly huge breakout if we can't see a break above 420 or break down below 417.30. Excuse me. Anyways, guys, the SPY right now, what I would say is I'm not really trading the SPY right now. I took one quick call scalp in the Discord in the afternoon because I was waiting for that, uh, what level is this? The 419.50 level to break. It did break. I got a, I got some calls up. I got stopped out. And that was the last play that I took for today. But what I'm really waiting for is something to give here, either you know a blow off the top or break down below. I do think we're going to have a solution to that debt ceiling coming in either today or tomorrow, very early in the week. And once we get that, I think the market's going to see more upside because because that's the only thing right now that's kind of, you know, it makes the market feel a little bit uncertain and uncertainty in the market is not bullish, okay? Moving on to the next one, guys. GME is absolutely ripping. Now, previously we had this on the charts and we said, hey, you know what? Um, if this thing can break above 2327, we're gonna see this thing push up towards 24. At this point in time, guys, there's two things that I'm looking for right now. 2460, and I have 2459 here. After that, I could see this going back up towards $27. Now, I've been speaking on this for roughly two weeks on the channel. Hopefully, you guys have been monitoring it or having some fun because this is up 9.3% right now. GME has been on an absolute wonderful move here, and I cannot wait to see what happens as it approaches that 2459, 2460 level because if it can maintain above that level, I think is going to be a same day shoot now today we saw a nine percent rip there with uh with gamestop i'm just gonna move this over a little bit here 
from 2450 up towards 27 is another 9.8 percent so the same day we had today is roughly what i'm expecting us to see if we can hold above maybe even one day close above that 2460 level so that's gonna be key for those of you guys who have not followed me on twitter or follow the base Street finance on twitter guys go follow those accounts yesterday i posted a play with tesla and i broke it down exactly um what i was looking for as promised, Tesla and some things to watch out for this week for the one daily and weekly charts. Bullish above the day high break of 182 down to 160, 186. Um, if you can hold above 179.50, I'll be watching the approach to 186 closely. This can provide a put scalp opportunity on the way down as a weekly pivot. Very risky, but worth watching. Okay, so pulling up Tesla here today, guys, this was perfect. One bullish above 182. Great. The second thing was we got rejected at that 160 level, not once, but twice, both times breaking back down to 185 and one time we come back down here to 184.60, but great levels to keep an eye out for. And then we saw Tesla ripping off here all the way up to 189 today. All right. So we have been scalping the heck out of this market. The only thing I really want to be, you know, make sure we stay cognizant of is one, we have to worry about that debt ceiling conversation still needs to happen. The second thing is guys, tomorrow we do have building permits uh manufacturing pmi we have a service pmi 9 45 during market hours the main thing for this week are really gonna on thursday we have the initial jobless claims and gdp on friday we have core pce so it's going to be a very crazy day in the market this week all right but guys that's what i got for you guys today it's a quick 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 rundown just because i do have some other obligations to go it is a long week in canada right now so i gotta do this and that and that and this and that and that i gotta run much love thank you guys very much for watching if you guys haven't yet of course guys smash the like button engage the video if you guys are new here subscribe to the channel if you guys want more from me on mission and trading guys jump into the discord with us for it's free for month trial have some fun we will be trading live again on friday it's we're going into a long weekend so we expect this friday to be eventful to say the least uh and we'll see where we go from there right i'll catch you guys tomorrow same place same time much love Dude.